This is not what you would expect to see in an operating room. The surgical team stopping to stretch. And this is fixed in space. Anne Arundel Medical Center's Dr. Adrian Park is the man behind those OR exercises. He's considered one of the pioneers in minimally invasive surgery. He says as the incisions and the tools become smaller, surgeries are easier on the patient, but oftentimes harder on the doctor. Over the years, as more and more surgeons did more and more minimally invasive surgery, uh, it became evident that many of us were actually suffering through from, from going to work, from doing our jobs. Here's an example. This student is using simulation to practice minimally invasive surgery. He has to hold his body very still. We hold ourselves in, in, in static positions for very long times. So after multiple studies, a lot of research, and surgery on his own wrists, Dr. Park and an exercise physiologist developed a series of stretches. They focus on the areas of the body uh, that surgeons report the greatest injury and pain from. They take just 90 seconds, but according to surgeons in the study, make a huge difference. Surgeons who have been participating in this have been doing it for about a year and a half, and they say it's really paying off. Those who did do it say it's not just helping them, but the patient as well. When a patient understands that their surgeon's probably going to have greater stamina and greater mental focus and have less pain, man, I, I want that surgeon operating on me. He says those simple stretches can do all of that for both the doctor and the patient. In Annapolis, Megan Pringle, WBAL-TV 11 News. Uh, very interesting.